welcome to the mine of King Echo. The king of Manu. The Pan-African king. The philosopher king. The spiritual leader of Ambazonia. Dr. Ebenza Akangwa. I just watched your video, man. Interesting, your audio. Interesting, you experience some true hatred towards Ayuk Julius Tabe, the interim president. I can feel you don't like him. It's the journey just come. So just because your journey just come, that means that you don't have to be a leader. Why does why do Africans always think that? Because when they put in time. When they put 32 years or how many years, whatever years they put in. And when they put in that time, they mean that that means their time is right for them to be the next leader. Who says that? Who, t who says that's how leadership works? That's not how leadership works, bro. A leader is, is, an, is somebody that has, has the ability to galvanize people, to bring people together. You know? And to 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 explain the situation, and not just explain the situation, but to talk about the situation, to talk about what is happening, and give solutions. You know, but you've been doing this stuff for thirty-two years, Doctor Ibinza Akangwa. You've been doing this stuff for what thirty-two years? To them, thirty-two years. You've been doing this stuff since nineteen eighty-five. Sarum Cameroon didn't have any independence. So for how long do you want to keep doing it before we get independence? Or so is it because you've been doing this stuff for 32 years? That means that a journey just come like Ayok Tabe Julius, as you stated, doesn't have the right, he has to sit in the back of the seat before it becomes president. Is that what you is that the reason why you hate you're hating the interim president? Because he just he just got there. And you've been doing this stuff for 32 years. With my brother for 32 years, they've been doing this stuff. The reason it didn't work is because you lack that leadership. You lack that, that edge to put you over. To push you over to the next level. Maybe, I'm going to say maybe because I'm, I'm that kind of person... That you know, I just keep an, a watchful eye. I don't completely, I don't trust people that easily. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even about trust. You know, it's about seeing results. For 32 years, we haven't seen any results that you propose or that you did. To push the struggle of the Southern Cameroon people to the next edge. We want a leader that can do that. Uh, I'm not saying that the interim president, Ayotabe Julius, is a leader that could do that. But come on, man. Stop using that uh, yes thing to say because you spend this amount of years and you don't know. Um, Ayota by Julius, he shouldn't be the leader or the interim president. I gotta give you a perfect example of what happened. A perfect example that happened in the United States in the 1900s. Marcus Garvey, the great Marcus Garvey, self taught, he didn't have a PhD, self taught came to the United States. He came to the United States because he wanted to see the great Booker T. Washington. But when he arrived, what he, the information he got was that Booker T. Washington had just passed away. And Booker T. Washington had just passed away. So, D.B. Du Bois, D.B. Du Bois, who has a PhD in history, you know, was hoping to be the next leader that would lead the African American to the next level but guess what the journey just come 
the great Marcus Garvey, who just arrived in the United States, who wasn't even, who was not born in the United States, he came from Jamaica, came, saw what's happening in the 1900s, like, wait a minute, where's the black man's own, uh, you know, great buildings and, uh, and art and history, why, why is it that we don't have our own shit? Say no, somebody must do something to build this shit. And he did it! With what? About 6 million black Americans who followed him, followed his leadership. This guy wasn't educated, highly educated. He was self-taught. And he did great things. The thing is, some of our African leaders think that, oh, you must have a PhD, or you must be highly educated to lead people, because they use, this. these are all excuses, they're using these to stump people, to stop people from, 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 from speaking up, or from trying to be a leader. Leadership has not, nothing to do with education, although it's good for you to read and write, and it's always good for you to have an education, but it has nothing to do with ed uh, education. You know? And it has nothing to do with your high, qual high level of education. Marcus Garvey was self-taught. And he challenged a PhD holder. And brought in eight, 6 to 8 million African Americans who followed him. So, my point I'm trying to make is this. When a leader is trying to use the amount of years that he has put in and his qualification that he has to say that he is the best person to lead, you've been doing this stuff for 32 years. Many people don't seem to, seem to still know you. And you want to lead? Lead what? Is leadership by force? If people don't don't understand what you're saying or don't feel what you're saying because it's it's a certain certain notion certain emotion that you you get when certain emotion that you get when you listen to a leader who can lead who can you know galvanize the people when this when they say something when they tell you about something you feel it it's like, okay, this guy is a leader. But you've been doing this stuff for 32 years. People don't seem to feel what you're saying. And because people don't seem to feel what you're saying, you're angry now, you have to take it out on a new kid, the Johnny Just Cam. I hate Kabe Julius because he's able to galvanize the people and bring them on the table. You're angry. And because you're angry, you're spewing your, your hatred upon him. But let me warn you. Dr. Ibinze Akangwa or Bangwa, whatever your name is. Huh? It doesn't matter what PhD you have. The freedom of Southern Cameroon does not depend on your education or qualification. It depends on the people who can lead the people. And if you don't have that quality, guess what? We ain't gonna listen to you. Now, nah. You could walk with Dr. Ugi, you could walk with um, Ayok Tabe Julius or not. That's up to you. Or you could use your, your skills that you've had for that past 32 years to send a message to the people so that people can understand what you're saying. If the people can understand what you're saying, they're going to follow you. But if they don't, you can't understand what you're saying. Oh, they don't feel what you're saying. Guess what? They're going to knock you out. And no matter what qualification that you have, nobody will listen to what your jack jackass is talking about. I don't care if you have a doctor degree or not. If what you're saying doesn't make sense to me, if what you're saying I don't comprehend, guess what? I'm going to speak negative about you, especially when you say negative stuff and start insulting the interim president. He might not be your interim president. Hey, but most of the Southern Cameroon, most of Southern Cameroonians think and believe he's the 
their parish president. And why they do that? Because of his leadership role. Johnny Joska. Oh my goodness. Some of our some of our African leaders think that when you put in time, you should be the next to, to rule. But that's not how leadership works. It's not. And Southern Cameroon, although they're putting all this information about oh with the vice president and this secretary and this 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 i don't see why they keep doing all that anyway i want this i want like i don't see why they want to do that in the first place you don't have complete control over the country yet what's in need of appointing people when you don't have the freedom when you don't have the independence what we need interim president what we need right now is to declare war with la republic and put in our military on the ground and take over our land and protect it you keep talking about diplomacy 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 alone will not secure our freedom action will we need to combine military with um ash why is it going off my head with diplomacy military with diplomacy to make this work if we don't do that shit we could we could be spend another 32 years like this guy has spent and we still will not have the independence why do you have to compare Southern Cameroon issue with Southern Sudan or any other country that has gone through independence or struggle to get independence? We are we, they are they. We're going to do our stuff. Yes, we can learn from them. doesn't mean that we are them. We can learn from others. doesn't mean that we are them. You know what I'm saying? 32 years, man. And you, you all you're doing is complaining, and you like the leadership role. It's the best thing to just keep quiet, bro. Let let somebody else take over. Because if you haven't, if for thirty two years you've been working on this stuff, and it still hasn't ripened, you know, your all the plants you don't plant them may never grow for thirty two years. You just be leader. Leader fool. Mind my shut up. This is King A to the philosopher king. I'm out.